Deep in the heart of Jerusalem's Christian quarter lies the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. It's the place where many believe Jesus was crucified, buried, and rose from the dead. Hundreds of thousands of pilgrims visit the church each year. The Roman Emperor Constantine built the church more than 1,600 years ago. Over the centuries, it's been burnt, suffered from earthquakes, destroyed by Muslims, and reconstructed many times. The last repair work happened in 1810, when the Edicule or Mausoleum was rebuilt following a fire. After the earthquake of 1927, there was a kind of damage around the Edicule and even in the Edicule itself. Nothing happened then because as tour guide Saeed Rabieh told us, the Greek Orthodox, Roman Catholic and Armenian Orthodox churches responsible for the site's management couldn't agree on repairs. There is always a kind of a competition between the different denominations. Who will have the honor to pray more in such a place or to have a bigger part or to be the honor of serving the holy place? Now that leaders have put that competition aside, Professor Antonia Marapulo will lead the restoration project. We will uh, remove the marble slabs, the stone slabs. Uh, we will inject grouts to homogenize the complex structure, which is the holy rock. That means that uh, we develop a unified structure, that all the layers will behave structurally as one. And upon this, after um, repairing uh, with new compatible and performing mortars and concrete, we will readjust the stone slabs with titanium bolts. And the restoration takes in the tiniest details. We start with one method, and then we maybe we continue with another method, so that to have a very clean surface. As you can see here, you can tell the difference between the two surfaces. The three denominations and Jordan's King Abdullah will put up more than three million dollars for the work, which should be complete by March 2017. Major repairs will happen at night so visitors aren't disturbed. For those working on the project, it's more than just a job. Of course, I'm very exciting. Yeah. Because I'm a Christian Orthodox and I am working in Greece in uh, monuments like this, but uh, this is a specialized project, very specialized project. I don't believe that I can go to something bigger than this.